Hi, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.net. If you come to HowToNetwork.net now and you click on the 101 CCNA Labs, if you scroll down on the left, it's the actual lab challenges which I'd like you to click on and then scroll all the way down and we're looking at a network address translation, translation lab. It's Lab 66 Configuring Dynamic Network Address Translation. So if you click on that, you can uh, click on the printer friendly format which will print out the lab the diagram and all of the objectives that we're going to be following and then you can look at the configuration next hello and welcome to lab 66 configuring dynamic nat translations OK, on switch one, let's just check that the VLAN exists, show VLAN brief. OK, we can see that VLAN 50 is called the NAT VLAN. That's configured for port F0-2. Quick show IP and brief to see that our VLAN interface is configured. VLAN 50, good, we can see that with 10.224. Okay, now on R2, show IP in brief to make sure we've got the interfaces configured. Same again on show on R1, show IP in brief. From R1, let's just ping across the link. Okay, good, that ping's working. Same again on R2 now back the other way to R1. Good, that's working as well. Okay, and from R2 let's ping the switch as well, 10.224. Good. From switch 1, let's ping R2. Good, that works. Okay, and now we're going to ping R1's address. Okay, and this is going to fail. The reason this is going to fail is that R1 doesn't have a route back to the 10.222 address. So this is normal behaviour, this is correct. OK, the way we're going to rectify this is on R2. We're actually going to configure net. OK, so on fast ethernet, IP net inside, 000, IP net outside. We're going to create an access list, an extend access called NAT ACL. This is used to qualify who can use the NAT translations. OK, so we're actually going to permit the 10.2.2.0 network to use NAT. There you go, to be NATted. OK, and then permit IP 10.2.2.0, relevant mask to any. That's all we need, just the one line. Now we're going to create the NAT pool, IP NAT pool. We're going to call that dynamic NAT. It is case sensitive. Whenever you refer reference anything, it's case sensitive. The pool range that we're going to use is 192.168.254.3 to 192.168.254.6 and we're going to use a prefix length of 29 so that's a slash 29 okay now we just need to do the actual translation so that's IP NAT inside source list NAT dash ACL okay remember that's the access list we created earlier the pool dynamic dash nat. Remember, it's all case sensitive, so make sure you get your typing right, especially in the exam. See there that, see there that the nat ACL matches, it's all uppercase. OK, 
Okay, quick shy peanut statistics. We'll see that we've got the pool there configured. Total addresses, but no address is actually allocated yet. So now from switch one, we're going to do a ping. We're going to ping the 192.168 network. And we see that it actually works now because we're being translated. Our switch is being translated. Okay, we can use anything on the 10 network, the 1022 network. So if you look at the translations, we've got two there 10222 and 10224. That's the switch and the fast Ethernet interface. We can see that we've allocated two addresses there with the Shy NAT statistics. So everything looks good. Total addresses are four, and we've allocated two, 50% of those the hits and the misses. And the relevant addresses that we've used, local and global. Okay, and that's the end of the lab. Stay tuned for more.